<laughs> it's gone. All right, there's the sound. No, I'll just let this go. I'll I'll follow up on this story after. Wait, to I'm be next, continued. I'm next on stream. To to be continued, but John, we're the happy short you're version here with is us. I'm I'm suffering from withdrawal on a medication I was taking. Oh no! Oh, and I didn't realize that until two days ago. <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, I'm glad you're back on the right track. I'm not saying I would have beaten any of the people I lost to. Right. But right, I should have right. played better against all the people I lost to. No, 100. percent And obviously, and that that also includes Tuesday and Wednesday. Right. And health Last is a priority at the end of the day, you know. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, we're glad that you're here. We're glad that you're feeling better and, you know, better spirits. And hopefully, you know, oh, dang. Speaking of speaking of health, yeah. Infernape's <laughs> first stock not looking too healthy. Okay, let's talk about the game. Uh, yeah. 100%, 100%. So, uh, yeah, Infernape just as ding which is super unfortunate because, you know, playing at this much of a deficit against Rob, very, very difficult. Rob, one of those characters get, that could just snowball you the drop of a hat. Yeah, I mean, especially on Battlefield, such a great... A great stage for both characters because of that combo potential that you were talking about beforehand. The triplats give give both characters, especially like as item characters, yeah. so much potential for a crazy amount of damage. And we can already see 120 on Infernape almost losing the second stock. Uh, great high recovery though from Infernape to dodge the Z drop gyro. Rotor arms are so sketchy. I it's, mean, they just continue to hit you and they last forever. When you think it's going to end, it just keeps going. Rotor Arms is definitely a cheater move. For sure. That's <laughs> that's the the base game DLC move. Anyway, Dill, though, looking to potentially work on a three stock as Infernape still has yet to take a, a one another, stock. Another and, SD. Yeah, just kind of SDing, didn't quite charge the barrels enough and Dill was, in fact, working on the three stock. And Dill isn't going to, uh, you know, Dill has a fantastic poker face. Not going to not going to make any sort of facial expression at the fact that her opponent SD twice. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, Infernape, as you could kind of see in the player cam, looking a bit, you know, all right, I messed up twice. That's on me. Let's just regroup and try to put up a bigger fight in game two. As you can see there, definitely yeah, the disappointed shake, by that. But... but uh, it, that was that was just very off. That was just very strange. Yeah. yeah. Infernape confirming those suspicions. Let's shake it out. Shake it out. Game yeah. two. It's time. All right. Coming in on Smashville as our uh, game two. A bit more of a scrappy stage, I think, yeah. as opposed to Battlefield, which just offers so much for Rob in particular. So we're going to see how things work out for Infernape in this game to trying to make his way through the gyro but getting put off stage once again you see dill going for that instant arm rotor like really looking to not worry about infernape stocks at all if that nair had connected that could have been death you know diddy's love to go for that nair by the side of the stage and then hit the dare directly after but infernape seems to have woken up i think we're gonna have a definitely a much more closely contested game too yeah no the angles oh, especially the, the angles especially on the uh Barrel jetpack so far have been really good in this game too, and even in game one there were some really good angles to just barely graze around the arm rotor. So Infernape's he he's got it in him absolutely. All right, still 100%. able to get the punish on the arm rotor even though Dill was starting to fade back a little bit. Ooh, and there it is, the largeness of Rob still getting caught by that uh, up smash, and Infernape now with a bit of a stock lead has Gyro in hand. So Dill not going to be able to use that to secure this kill, especially because, I mean, Gyro is such a great tool for sniping Diddy out on the, uh, the barrel recovery. Yeah, 100%, and definitely Infernape's going to have to be on the lookout when he's trying to recover. But can we get some extra credit here by Infernape? Definitely going to be tough. Dill be pressing buttons. Yeah, for real. Oh, oh no. Bye-bye, barrel. That's always so... Oh, s oh you got back. Hit. You got hit. It happened. You let it be you. <laughs> Sometimes it it happens to the best of us, you know. You yeah. think it's you're you think fine, the and then you just get jump scared. The it's problem the problem is, and a lot of the times, it's just the barrels just go completely out of the frame, especially if like you're super low to the blast zone. You're like, where the where the heck are these barrels? Yeah. Like, and then they just hit you, and then and then you're angry. Some would say you're so angry that you might start hissing at someone. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, With a little angry cat face. I don't know why I did that. It's okay. 
back into the neutral. Infernape getting caught by the Charo, but the barrel's coming out once again. Infernape trying to reset that neutral. Don't want to deal with Dill in the corner. Almost getting the kill with the up smash, but the banana into back air still not quite doing it. That is a an iron robot. Even though Rob's supposed to be made of like toy plastic, yeah. he's he's metal. All right, we're going high here, trying to avoid all the setups with Banana to try to... Oh my goodness, what's going on there? Infernape in kind of stubbing his toes on the gyro, trying to find his way to get Dill, but Infernape now, once again, with a stock lead. Going to see if he can work on some extra credit this time. Ooh! He, he he's gone. It. Yeah, I respect it. I respect it. But that was super interesting. I think Dill still could have survived that monkey flip uh, kick. Because it looked like Dill had air dodge in the blast zone, and that's what took took the stock. But Dill looking to get these gyro conversions. Yeah, a banana conversion. Oh, it was a banana. Yeah, yeah. Just like I was saying, these are two item characters. You got to know that they're gonna know how to use it. Ooh, and Frank kicking that gyro around, setting up with the banana on the platform to make sure that Dill can't really take the high road out of, out of the way. All right, dead even percents right now, but a banana into F smash for Dill and catching the monkey flip, almost getting the down air, but Infernape still hanging on for dear life, has to worry about the gyro at ledge. That's a re-grab, uh, nothing from Dill, just trying to wait to see if the gyro does the work for her. Z drop dare? Ooh, almost oh, getting the dare, oh. but the air dodge. I think Dill was maybe expecting the sour spot dare, and <laughs> she's smiling, she's like, that was silly. Which it was silly, but Frenape taking game two, bringing Dill to game three. Very good stuff. Yeah, total total mind shift from game one to game two. And Infernape, this is what happens when, when Infernape is ready to roll. Just woke up there and uh, definitely had a very closely contested game and was able to secure the dub. The fear of the banana getting the stop. Yeah. Very nicely done. Dill air dodged, and then she just left the player cam. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, Rob's air dodge is pretty bad, right? Like, as soon as Rob air dodges, it's kind of curtains yeah. if they're off stage. That, that low to the blast zone. Yeah, that low. Even though Rob has such an amazing recovery, it just it was like, dang, yeah, I they think couldn't that, come back. That low is just, that was it. Yeah, yeah. It's unfortunate. But, hey, we have a game three. We're back to Smashville. And like we were saying in the first uh, game on Smashville, which just happened a couple seconds ago, uh, there's nowhere to run here. And both characters are going to try to get those confirms those at early percents and those ledge traps. Dill doing a great job with, you know, converting uh, some offstage snipes that we saw in the last game. So let's see if Dill can continue that here. Great combo from Dill right there to get out of the Diddy combo and dead even percents right now, but in front of it with the stage advantage, nice use of the forward air to grab the, uh, the banana off of the ledge. This is what you want to see out of Infernape here, keeping Rob at the ledge and just utilizing Diddy's great ledge trapping options with Banana shooting the peanut. So we definitely want to see more of that coming from Infernape. And I mean, look at the amount of damage that Infernape has been able to rack up just from these ledge trap scenarios. Ooh, and you're gone. charge on the F smash, and that is Infernape taking stock one cleanly. Dill taking the jacket off. Yeah, is there, it's, it's gaming time. Is there a more satisfying kill then banana into F smash. I mean, like, especially because uh, Diddy Kong gets to like charge up the F smash. Yeah. Like, you really, you feel the power. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Like a, a good Goku power up scream in there. Yeah, totally. Now we're gonna try to see here if Dill could start making the comeback. Oh, the, the rotor arm rotor. Not gonna be taking things just yet with no okay. rage and not quite enough percent on Infernape. And Infernape is still working on this second stock for Dill. Ooh. All right, gets the dash attack into forward air to start up that pressure once again. This is really where Infernape got all of his money in stock one, yep. was ledge trapping. Those <gasps> the snipes. Barrels. Okay. Those snipes are so impressive by Dill. Really just has great awareness of where her projectiles are going and where to start setting them up. And as, as Diddy Kong, it's like, yep, I might get hit by this. Not much I could do. Yeah, and I mean, Infernape has been doing such a good job so far in this set of avoiding the snipes. But eventually, you just you run out of angles, you run out of tricks, and Rob Laser comes for us all in the end. 100%. All right. Ooh, almost getting the Z-drop. Gyro confirmed. Barrels. <laughs> you gotta watch out for him. 
Oh no, but another Nair into Arm oh. and that's going to be an early stock for Infernape. 63 hit, and now Dill is back in the driver's seat once again. Barrels to try and reset the neutral, but kind of awkward item placement there in center stage. And to see if Infernape can get a little bit more value out of these ledge trapping scenarios. Dill doing a great job of just turning the tides real quick with taking that stock super early. And that's what, you know, this stage kind of grants you, you know, those very close blast zones on the side of, of Smashville. Um, yeah, going to get that done super early. I love the recognition there from Infernape after the banana hit to go for the grab instead of, like, any sort of hit, recognizing that he didn't quite have the spacing for, like, a full punish, mm -hmm. so instead decided to punish the shield afterwards. Yeah. It's caught by the full gyro, and once again, these barrels coming in through, trying to reset the neutral, but it has been Dill's game so far. Nice roll to avoid the grab. And an anti-air up smash, putting right. Infernape in even stocks, but 80%, this is one or two touches away. Yeah, totally, and you want to start being careful because you let Rob get a grab right now. It's curtains. Uh, there's the touch. There's yeah. the, the forward smash, and that is going to be Dill taking things 2-1 after a very a, a very back and forth set i think very much so i mean the story of game 1 to game 2 was completely different completely different chapters which was super interesting to see but uh, game 3 definitely a super closely contested game as well and both players implementing their game plans uh, you know dill going for those uh, rotor arm setups and was able to get the second stock very cleanly. Mm -hmm. And Infernape doing a great job at keeping Rob at ledge. And as the Diddy player, I think we, you know, I, I'm not sure if you've heard today's episode of Tweet Talks yet, but that's a big part of Diddy's game plan where Diddy could take a lot of uh, money to the bank, mm -hmm. just setting you up at the ledge and just tacking on that damage and not letting you play the game. Absolutely. And I think it, it really was that second stock, the arm murder, that was the momentum shift that yeah. Dill needed to, yeah. to secure that. Yeah, 100%. Because at the start, you know, on their first stocks, it was definitely super competitive and just was taking a little bit of time for Dill to get super warmed up in that game mm -hmm. three. Uh, but then once, you know, once Rob gets that gas in them, it's pedal yep. to the metal. Anyway, coming up next, we have uh, Steelix, who Speaking I of believe metal. is another 